camp. So this weekend we are very much focused on getting the RV ready to be moved. And what is it going to take to get the RV out of here? So we have to cut some trees and open up the pathway because the trees have grown in. So we're going to limb some up, clear that out, and then we are also needing to turn the RV from a full-time living position. Hi! Where we had glassware, glass plates, all that, thinking we're gonna live here full time, back into a mobile unit. Would you like your ladder down? <laughs> no? So, and then I'm also gonna check in on a product that we bought that went underneath the mattress. And I, it, the goal was to keep it from molding and help it breathe. And so it's been two years that that's been in place and I'm going to be getting in there. So stay tuned and we'll find out together whether it worked. If it worked, I was already impressed with the, the um, private Made in America little note that I got from them, handwritten, thank you. So stay tuned and we'll see what's going on. Can you say hi and bye? Hi, bye. Say hi to our subscribers. Hi. <laughs> stay tuned. Bye. Okay. Outside, there is work to be done. So let me show you what we have to do out here. So we need to move our kitchen because we have to clear the edges of the RV. So we got to move our outside kitchen. We have to move our dining room table. We have to move our couch. All of these things will someday be in the, art, in the cabin. And so Harper's going to help me. And we decided, because it's only temporary while we're on vacation, we're gonna put up our old 12 man tent right over there to hold all of that stuff. And then when we come home from vacation, we can take it out, put it back because <clears throat> then we'll really go to work on the cabin. And then it'll all go in the cabin next year, right? Okay, Harper, are you ready to help grandma put up a tent? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so now Dwayne is making sure he can get in. That's why the tent is turned sideways and pushed back as far as we can because he has to be able to get in and pull the trailer. And why, you may ask, why didn't we put it right there where we cleared all that ground for the cabin? Hi. Huh. I lost a tube. <laughs> Uh, why? Because we're hoping that over the next four weeks, while we're waiting to leave for vacation, maybe we can decide what kind of foundation we're going to put. So we talked to county. We are allowed to rebuild the cabin that was here, um, like for like. And so we will be rebuilding, rebuilding a 16 by 24 Gambrel A-frame cabin with a 12 by 12 edition bedroom that was on it. And the original cabin was floating on the ground on logs, which rotted. Okay, now we're cleaning up under the RV carport so we can get all the stuff back in there so we can travel. Let me show you what we did with the tent. So the kitchen is gone, the couch is gone. This is our temporary chilling space, hangout space, temporary use space. So this is where it'll live until we get back from vacation and then we can put it all back. But we, we needed to open up the RV spot so we can get it out. Are you going to say hi? Hi. So this is Moments with Harper. So Harper and I are going to be making... <coughs> destination bags for our vacation. So she's gonna learn about the states right here 
and the five states that we're going to be going to and every time we get to that state to that campground she's going to get a special destination gift bag for Which being good. a surprise doll. Yeah, she knows, got five. she knows that one of the things in the bags is an LOL doll. Um, but we'll see what other little activities show up in those bags to keep her busy on this road trip. Hi everyone, it's me Harper and me and my grandma are going to make a craft video when we're going on vacation in three weeks. Four. Three. <laughs> no, it's four. Okay. Hi everyone, it's me Fairy. Says she is a little crazy. That got me crazy. <laughs> okay, we're going to get started. Okay, so you... So the things are you need a lunch bag, stamps, and a cleaner for so there's ink and a cleaner. And then you have some string and paper and whatever color ink you want. Ooh, and don't forget the rolly stamps. So let's get started. Vacation. So you made a vacation bag? Yeah, that says vacation. This one is a Montana bag? Yeah, and this is the vacation one. And this is an extra vacation one. So we're going to, Harper's done with crafts now. We're going to go find something else to do. Probably get back to work. We have trimming trees to do so we can get the RV out. Yep. And you can ride in the front seat. Yeah. Okay. All right. Thanks for watching Moments with Harper. Bye bye. Okay, now that the uh, cabin is down, we are moving on to what we have to do to get the RV out of here, which is trim trees. Trees <laughs> grow so fast, and the branches get heavy and they hang down, so we got to go cut branches. So this is the height of the RV. He already measured. That's the top of the air conditioner. <laughs> it's pretty smart. <laughs> I love you. So we're done at the beach and now we're getting water for camp. That means it's playtime and work time. morning good morning the plan today is I get empty that little barrel there so I'm gonna power wash finish power washing the camper then hook up the backhoe then dig out a stump and get ready for gravel so there's a lot to do 
weed eat. I got to weed eat the area, lay cloth, staple it so it stays down. So the gravel gets here. And um, that's going to be it. And we'll see how much I can get done today. Got to make breakfast though first. Yeah, the most and important meal coffee. of the day. No. Harper is still asleep. The morning work has begun. We're going to start by removing an elderberry bush and hopefully replant it. This behind the cabin um, that we got to get out of the way so we could bring gravel in and start getting ready for a foundation. So. That's the elderberry bush right there. You got the elderberry out. It's grown into a giant stump, so this might not survive. Wake up, Harper! Wake up! It's hard to walk. Grandpa got Mr. Peabody's cousin. What is her name? This is Sarah. See her peeking out? Oh my goodness, let me open the door because all one. I can see is this green. It's a little one. <gasps> it's a Hi, baby, Harper. tiny little one. She's climbing out. She might hop on. Hi, Sarah. Can I can I try to hold her? Sure. Okay. Hi, Sarah. There you go. It's time to climb out. Yeah, there you go. All right, come here. Show me. <laughs> yeah, it's getting a little bit. Is this Peabody's cousin? Yeah. yeah. She's tinier than Mr. Peabody. Yeah. See? And it's Sarah. Oh, Peabody. I can't see her. That's her last name. Wait, no. Peabody. Go ahead and open your hand. <gasps> open your hand a little bit more. Hi, Sarah. Hi. Aww. I give her a little opening so she can breathe. I think that's a good idea. Yeah, because frogs need to breathe. What a great way to wake up in the morning to find a new frog. Yeah, it's, part, probably... of, it's part of Mr. Peabody's family. Yeah. Yes. I wanted to show this to you guys. So I'm getting the toy hauler area ready for our vacation. And just a reminder, we got this little washer a while back and we've tried it out and used it a few times. It works really well. And then we bought the little dryer that goes with it. <laughs> and it, we tried it out and it works. So we're gonna be doing our own laundry. Wayne is digging up the stump that was growing underneath the bedroom area of the cabin. So these were the corners of the bedroom. And that stump was growing underneath. A lot of nettles in there. Ooh, a lot of stinging nettles. So now Dwayne is leveling the ground. Now we've moved on to power washing. We have to clean the rug. Look how dirty it was. He's making it all clean. That's pretty cool. Yeah. It does a good job. A little solar powered. Uh... We can be off grid and have clean carpets. Yeah, we are getting all cleaned up for the trip. We don't want family to see how dirty we live. <laughs> and now we're doing the chairs. Did you hear it? Oh, it's a fan. Okay, I want to show this stuff to you guys because this worked really well. Under the mattress, there is no mold. Yeah, which is good. I got this underlayment. Harper's helping me hold this mattress up. Yeah. Okay, I got this underlayment. Yeah. A, you could cut it with scissors. Yeah, but you don't have this to is hold. smooth. You got it? Made in America. 
I will try to find the link or the name of it because this was definitely a good buy. Okay, Harper, we can get out. Okay, I We'd, can. Thank you for helping me hold it up. You're welcome. You didn't have to hold. I know. You did all the work. Yeah. Okay. That's so the mattress stayed totally dry. Because so two even years. Even towards the back. Yeah. Or the front. The back. The front. Under the window where it really drains. You wick right out of that frame. You got blankets and pillowcases Jeez. touching. Yeah, and it stayed really good. Well, everything's solid. It's a solid trailer. 